All right, hello guys. Welcome to our forecast for this week from October 20th through October 27th. We're going to go over the precipitation forecast, temperature forecast, and special note segment as well as our photo features of the week at the end of the video. But before I get started with this one, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content and also make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias. Now, let's get right into thing we're get into things. We're starting out with our precipitation forecast here. And you can see we're looking at our below average precipitation first things first. Now we are going to have a slightly below average precipitation region from some portions of the northwest like Oregon and Idaho down into the southwestern United States, some of those four corner states as well as a little bit of the central United States like Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. A lot of these regions are going to be experiencing pretty dry conditions. Not all of these will be experiencing too dry. Uh, this is only our first shade of brown, so it's not too big of a deal. Now let's start adding our above average precipitation regions. That's as dry as it's going to get in the United States this week. But we do have a pretty big region of slightly above average precipitation that extends from northern Washington through a lot of those Rockies and north central states down into almost all of the eastern United States from the Great Lakes regions, from the south central regions to the Gulf states, mid-Atlantic uh, east central regions of the United States and then the northeast and mid Atlantic, or sorry, the northeast and New England as well. We're all going to be dealing with slightly above normal t uh, precipitation. So, what's really going to be uh, the effects that you're going to feel is kind of above normal, but you might not notice it too much. This is going to be slightly above average precipitation for all of these regions. Let's add our second shade of green here, though. And you can see that we are going to be dealing with moderately above average precipitation for these regions. And it's going to be a little bit more noticeable here. So you're not going to be, you're going to notice that it's above normal for these regions. It's going to be quite wet from the Gulf states and a little bit of Texas there all the way through into the Smoky Mountains and into the regions like Virginia and a little bit of North Carolina there as well. It's going to be quite stormy. We're going to be dealing with potentially nor'easters towards the end of the week, so that's really going to help contribute to these conditions for the most part. Let's get into your temperature forecast here. We're going to be starting off with our slightly above average temperature region. So from California down through portions of Nevada and Arizona and New Mexico, as well as some southern regions in Texas, we're going to be dealing with above average temperatures. Again, in this first shade, you might not notice it too much. It's not going to be too intense as far as above normal temperatures are concerned. It's going to be the same story for the extreme southeast there like Florida and coastal regions of southern North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. We're going to be dealing with slightly above average temperatures. It's going to be near normal though. Same story for the Northeast and uh, New England regions from Ohio and West Virginia up through Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and into New York and the rest of New England. We're going to be dealing with slightly above average temperatures. Again, not too noticeable, but on paper it will be above average for these regions. Now for your second shade of above average temperatures, we only have one little area there and it extends for some of the coastal regions of California as well as some of those mountainous regions in California as well. We're going to be dealing with a little bit more above normal temperatures than the rest of the regions, and it's going to be a little bit more noticeable for these regions, and it's been this way for a few weeks now for at least the southern regions of this red area, so we're going to be dealing with quite a little bit of warm conditions there. Now for your slightly below average temperature region, that extends from the very eastern regions of the northwest like Oregon and Washington, as well as Idaho into the Rocky Mountains and a lot of those central United States as well from the Dakotas and Minnesota down south into Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, and northern Texas, areas like that, and the northern four corner states as well. Again, in this first shade of blue, not too noticeable. You might not even notice it at all, but on paper it will be below average for these regions. But as we get our second shade of blue here for a lot of those Rockies, this is an area where we're going to notice it a bit more. On paper, it's going to be more below average than the surrounding regions, and you're going to probably feel like it's colder than normal. You're going to be thinking, well, it was a pretty cold week for this region. It's going to be quite cold. I must mention that by the end of the week, the cold will have been shifted pretty far east over the Great Lakes and east coast of the United States and northeast, but only for about a day. And then after the 27th and beyond, it looks to be cold. So it is going to be cold towards the end of the week, but on if you average out the whole seven day period, it's going to look like this. Now let's get into your special note segment of the video. 
Our first special note here, as you can see, we're going to have a winter storm going on from the 20th through the 23rd for a lot of these northwest regions, north central regions of the United States. In the blue, we're indicating that, the, that it's going to be mostly snow, and then in the green, we're indicating that it's going to be mostly rain. That doesn't mean you can't see snow in the green areas or can't see rain in the blue areas, but for the most part, this is how it's going to shape up. Uh, I made a video on this storm, I think, yesterday, so you can check that out for more details on this storm. But this is pretty much uh, an idea of what's going to be coming today through the 23rd. As far as snowfall and rain for a lot of these regions, it's going to be quite the wet storm and quite an intense storm. We've been having a lot of storms like this for this area for a while now. And it looks to continue the stormy pattern here for the north central and northwestern United States as the Rockies look to get even more snow this fall season. Let's move on to your second special note here, and you can see we're going to have another one heading in from the 23rd through the 25th. I must mention, though, this one doesn't look to be quite as intense, but it does extend into more areas like the southern Rockies and even northern New Mexico there uh, from, uh, from the northwest. And on this one, it's a little bit further out, so I didn't indicate green or blue where it's going to be snow and when it's where it's going to be rain. But for the most part, there will be some snow in a lot of the high elevation areas. And then there will be rain in some regions in the surrounding areas. I might have to make a separate video specifically for this storm coming up in the next few days uh, where I'll have more details like snowfall totals and things like that. So be on the lookout for that one if you do live in these regions as that one's probably going to be coming out in the next three days. I'll be having to make a video about that storm specifically. Now for your third special note. From the 25th through the 27th towards the end, after that cold moves in kind of to the Great Lakes regions, this is going to bring in the nor'easter pattern once again, where from the Gulf states up through the southeast and into the mid-Atlantic, northeast, and New England, we're going to be dealing with more coastal storms. And we've been in this pattern for quite a while now where we've been seeing coastal storms and nor'easters. I think we're on our third one now, so it's been... A big switch up, and now we've been dealing with a lot of nor'easters for this region. Is it a sign for wintertime and things to come for the winter? Possibly. We could see this extend into the wintertime, which would bring a lot more snow to a lot of the eastern regions and would be a good sign for snow lovers. Now, for your photo features of the week, we have three photos as always. I always love going through these photos. If you want to send in your photos, be sure to follow our Instagram in the description and also in the pinned comment and tag us in those photos. If you DM it to us, we're not going to post it, so you have to tag us in the photos. Also, another thing is I've had private accounts, accounts that ha are set up as private accounts where they try to tag us in photos. We won't be able to see it. You have to be a public account for us to see the photos, just as a reminder. Now, our first one here is Tucker Finds Adventure, and this is a dog. It's an account for this dog, and he goes on adventures, and his family takes pictures of him, and they've been taking weather-specific photos of the dog and sending them into us or tagging us in them. And we're thinking about kind of a little bit of a partnership here. I think Tucker could be a great mascot for direct weather, so expect to see more of Tucker. Uh, here's Tucker in foggy conditions here over this lake here. It looks kind of chilly, looks kind of humid, uh, looks like a good hike they probably had there with Tucker. So really, really cool photo and really cute photo there as well. Now, Cherry1880 posted this from Fort Worth, Texas, or yeah, tagged us in this, and you can see there is quite a bit of storminess here. Uh, we've seen multiple photos from Cherry, uh, and here's another one here with some downbursts, and it looks like a quite the intense thunderstorm there in Fort Worth, Texas. Keep sending in the photos, Cherry. I love seeing them from different parts of the United States. We need to keep seeing more tagged photos for us to be able to keep making three a week. We haven't been getting quite that much, so be sure to keep tagging us in those photos, guys. And we'll keep posting them. And for your third and final photo, this is undeniable underscore 13. Posted this sunset photo here. And it's just a beautiful sunset photo here. Fall time sunset photo. I don't know where this one was taken. I think they probably mentioned it, but I didn't have it in the photo. So I forget now. But just a beautiful sunset photo with all those reds and pinks and almost purplish colors there towards the top or magenta. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful 
photo. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. As always, if you feel it's important for your friends or family to see this information, be sure to post it to your social medias or private message it to them so they can see this information, so they can continue to see the weekly forecasts as they tend to be very accurate and a lot of people find them quite useful and I love making them for you guys. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.